So, you know, if you look at the metabolic consequences of starvation, you just don't eat any food. Your thyroid hormone will go in the gutter. Um, so there are people out there who just aren't eating enough. Like, that is a thing. But it's also just natural in the process of aging that we're all getting progressively dysfunctional mitochondria and that we can intervene at any point to have at least 75% of control over that. And so we want to step up the game and, you know, work. So I, if there's two things that people take away from this from me today, I would want it to be always think about your mitochondria first. And when you're thinking about them, always go with a, a food first, pharma last approach. So naturally create a state of abundance in the best way that you can, and then move on to other things after you've done that. That way, if you're going to intervene with testosterone replacement or thyroid hormone or statins or whatever, I mean, statins are mitochondrial toxins, so they're kind of counterproductive from a mitochondrial energy production standpoint. Um, and on that note, you know, so statins for the, the debates of statin associated myopathy are, are, are the rates of them are debated. The rates at which statins cause diabetes is debated, but it's there. And it's because statins actually inhibit your CoQ10 synthesis, but they also inhibit other things in the mitochondrial energy production engines that you can't take a supplement for. So there's just no way around that statins will decrease your mitochondrial function. So I think by not thinking about mitochondria first, it's like instead you take these people with mediocre mitochondrial function, um, their LDL in their blood would get taken into their cells. You would do valuable things with it if the state of abundance was present, because not only does this all the signaling say do something with the, with the cholesterol, but the way you can actually get cholesterol into the cell is to burn through a bunch of ATP with motor proteins that actually move it from outside the cell to inside the cell in order to facilitate that turnover. So we've got a situation where we know that everyone could improve their mitochondrial function, but instead of doing that and then saying, okay, do we really need a statin? We just say, oh, go straight for the statin. And now you're hurting the mitochondrial function even more. And you're saying, well, it's a, it's the ROI is good enough because I'm lowering their cholesterol and they won't get heart disease. And the other mitochondria aren't doing as great, but that's okay because we lowered the cholesterol. I think that's totally backwards. You should, you should always be trying to optimize mitochondrial function first. You should always be doing that with natural foods before you try anything else. And then, and then move on. Like just set the, the foundation. Set a good foundation and then build your house on top of it however you want. I'm not saying never do never use any pharmaceuticals. I'm just saying you know you put, if you're gonna put if you're gonna build your house out of pharmaceuticals, do it on a good foundation. Right. Do make an educated decision.